Hi everyone, this is going to be a swatch video for Urban Decay's new Lo-Fi Lip Mousse. These are a new lip product. They're actually available, it looks like, in eight different shades. Um, I have seven of them to show you in this video. And of course, I will also show you what they look like once applied to the lips. Make sure you stay tuned through the end of the video to see the lip swatches. These are available for purchase through Sephora. I also believe they're available through Ulta. I will put links in the description box below to where you can find them to purchase if you are interested, as well as a link to Ebates if you are not already a member in order to get some cash back on any online purchase that you make, and also a link to the blog sale if you're interested in making a purchase through there. Make sure to follow Allura Beauty on Instagram through the new account, and please make sure to also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on videos like this. So the description by Urban Decay is that these are whipped to airy perfection. Urban Decay's Lo-Fi Lip Mousse is a weightless, buildable, waterproof lip color. It provides high impact color with a velvety soft finish that feels like you're wearing nothing. The plush matte texture is very of the moment and the application is effortless. Urban Decay is dropping a mega mix of eight all new shades ranging from cashmere soft baby pink to plum purple and attention grabbing bright orange. Loaded with pigment, Lo-Fi's budge proof buildable formula lets you control the color and keep it where you want from sheer to full coverage. If you're feeling low key, pat on the mousse with your fingertips for that barely there effect. If you wanna go bold, create definition with the pop out applicator. How about soft and sexy? Apply it intensely at the center of the lip, fading it out towards the edges like a blooming flower. Any way you choose to apply, lo-fi leaves lips soft, smooth, and stained with color. This shimmering purple compact slides into a handbag pocket or fits in your slimmest clutch. And these retail for $22 each. All right, with that very lengthy description, let's get to swatching each of these shades to see what the colors are like. So of course, we're gonna start by looking at the packaging, which is pretty neat because at first it's just a normal uh, round compact and there's nothing special to the closure you actually just snap it open, but as you do that, you see this tab slides out of the bottom of the compact. It also comes with its very own mirror, and so the applicator is right at the bottom there. It is a pointed tip uh, sponge applicator. So this shade here is Halo. Here is Wavelength. Amplify, Noise, this sheet is Echo, the next sheet is Fade, and last is the shade Boom. So I will go ahead and swatch these with the applicator that the uh, compact comes with. We start with Halo, which is a warm baby pink. Just to give you a feel of the texture and formula, this is what the pan looks like. And then as you dip your applicator, you can see kind of how the compact or pan transforms. Wavelength is a medium pink purple. Don't really see much pink in that. This is Amplify. Wow, much different. Uh, this is a deep red. It's much more opaque. Wow, Amplify was much different. It seems much uh, waterier than the other ones, which were more dry and powdery. Noise is a berry pink. Again, much more opaque. Echo is a mauve nude pink. Again, going back to more sheer finish. 
Fade is a medium warm nude. And Boom is a plum purple with red micro shimmer. Okay, so this is what the swatches look like with uh, going into each pan once. You can see what these look like up close. Some of them really opaque, the other ones more transparent and powdery. I'm going to go back for the more translucent shades. It's going to be these four and I'm going to build a second layer to see how much intensity we can get out of these. So I'm layering up Halo. Oh yeah, you definitely get more color payoff there. Not quite as vibrant or opaque, but still good buildup. Wavelength. Echo. And fade. All right, and here are the shades. Some of them with a little more buildup to see how you can make them more intense. All right, so there are the new Lo-Fi Lip Mousses from Urban Decay swatched for you. My impressions of the formula are that it's definitely a powder um, finish and consistency. So they should be much more long wearing than your traditional lipstick or gloss. On the other hand, they are likely going to be more drying on the lips. So if you already have dry lips or you have problems with cracks showing, this probably is not the ideal formula for you. I do like that they are buildable so that you can have a bit of control over the effect that you get. It's nice that those uh, middle two shades were really intense and opaque in pigmentation. You could certainly shear it out by using more of a dabbing motion and using less product. I think that honestly the most impressive part of this is going to be in the packaging with that applicator that pops out. Otherwise I don't really know that this product is so innovative that it's worth a the price and kind of sort of inconvenience of using the product. I mean it's not the most convenient to use because you have to have a separate applicator and dip it into the pan etc. But it is at least um, interesting and something newer in uh, introduced to the world of lip products. So please leave a comment in the section below if you have any thoughts on this new product from Urban Decay. I feel in general like Urban Decay used to be such a big brand and in the past few years it's just really not presented anything that's really wowed many people. So that's a little disappointing. But if you have any particular thoughts on this product or on the brand in general, of course, please let me know what your thoughts are. I hope this video was interesting to you, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video.